Dom. Welcome back to La La Land on CRN Digital Talk. That's Nettie Liddell. And that's Brett Chapin. We're talking to Marcus Salgado, uh, master martial artist, uh, fight choreographer. And we're taking your calls at 1-800-336-2225. Make sure you call in with any questions you have for Marcus. And uh, we also have Tim Scanlon in with us. Hey. Th hey. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Um, we had Tim on last week, and he brought to us this amazing um, stunt choreographer, consultant man who's worked with pretty much everybody and everything in Hollywood. Oh, you're um, so kind. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. <laughs> thank you. But you're not from here. No, I'm not. I'm originally um, from New York City, but I've uh, been living here uh, now for 17 years. Wow. I love L.A. I love L.A. Uh, he love loves L.A. LA. You love hear that? LA, from yes. New York, loving L.A. <laughs> yeah, loving right? L.A., yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So how did, how did you get here? How did um, you get here? I had a buddy of mine who um, I, I met in school up at uh, State University of Purchase. Um, we developed a friendship. He was in the drama program. Uh, at the time, I was just a liberal arts student. Uh, I ran a martial arts uh, program in there, and uh, he became one of my uh, students, and his name is Wesley Snipes. And as his career uh, began to grow, he brought me out to L.A. with him, um, especially for the action films that he did starting with passenger 57 all the way to um blade okay so wesley snipes i've heard yes. of him before yeah that's cool <laughs> oh my gosh so um, but before that like because you mentioned that you were from like the harlem bronx area yes it was it because of being in like a tough area that you got into like mixed martial arts and fighting and stunts and all that or? um well martial arts definitely uh, became handy uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> growing up, uh, so yeah, definitely that that was a, an impetus at first. Um, however, uh, I, I just fell in love with it. Um, so from there, training and practicing, and it just was a natural na natural evolution um, from martial arts into stunts. Because uh -huh. much much of stunts, actually, ninety percent of it is is fights. So you know, if you're a martial artist, it's, it's um, sorry, you got to talk into the mic. Okay. Tomas, what do you want him to do? Right. <laughs> a little, come he, a little closer. We got Tomas uh, in here. He's the, hey. Thank you, Tomas. The Technical sound difficulties, but right. we're good now. He Our is amazing the man. engineer. Yes. He is the man. Um, but yeah, uh, fights is like 90% of what we do in stunts. Um, you know, the uh, high falls and cars, that, that, that's usually specialty work. But, but the bulk of the work comes from fighting. So I was in a good position to do that. So when I came out with Wesley, I was his. Um, not only his martial arts trainer, but also his fight choreographer. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. Very, very cool. So you've been doing it all along, pretty much, all your life. I mean, you've been active and an athlete and yes. into it. More than half of my life, absolutely. Okay. And I like to call you the, the peaceful warrior. Yes. Um, you actually have, what is it, www.screenfighter.com. Yes. And that is your business, and you have an academy, Screen Fighter Academy. Yes, we do. Okay, so tell us something a little bit about that. Um, well, Screen Fighter Academy is a part of Screen Fighter, which is a resource and consulting company. Um, we provide the uh, film and entertainment industry with everything from stunt coordinating to fight choreography to stunt performers, uh, equipment, and stunt training. So the stunt training part is where the academy comes in. That's where we train um, uh, people who are interested in getting into the business, learning stunts, and that's where we train them. Okay. All right, cool. Do you and have I a lot of uh, students? How many students do you have in, in the academy? Um, well, you know, we have probably about 20 or 30 um, normally, but it's, it's, it's usually um, when we're working. If, someone's, if I'm working, it's, it's, it's very hard to kind of keep the people together, but when we have a down period is when we train. Okay. So, um, so, okay. so, the, so the membership kind of varies, but it's usually about you know, 15, 20 people at a time. Great. And I say peaceful warrior because I'm looking on your site and I see it says Taoist. Let me say it right. Oh, Taoist. Taoist. 
<laughs> okay, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm American. No, it's oh my <laughs> gosh, no, I shouldn't have said that. The T is the yeah, D in, in, in Chinese. Okay, yeah. all right. <laughs> okay. Taoist <laughs> meditation and safety handling. So it's like safety through Taoist meditation. Is that what's going on? Or? No. It, um, on the site there, I just named a number of things. Number that of I things. Do. And Taoist yoga is uh, an exercise um, similar to Tai Chi, but it's, it's sort of the warm up part of the Tai Chi training. And then uh, the Tai Chi is actually the form. So the Taoist uh, yoga is um, a form of yoga, but it's, m it's moving yoga. Like they like to call Tai Chi moving meditation. So martial arts is actually a very peaceful thing. It's also meditation and... Uh, Absolutely. I think, uh, it, yeah, I think that's a big misunderstanding that people have as the, uh, the spirituality connected to it, right? Totally. Um, I mean, uh, martial arts started with the spiritual s s sector of society, monks, and 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 uh, religious uh, people started um, martial arts coming from, you know, from down from Egypt to India to Asia, all through the centuries. But it's always been um, people who who have a spiritual background, and and it was always used for, for self defense and for personal cultivation, as opposed to, you know war or wanting to hurt someone. Like in China, they even say to, to this day, if you want to uh, learn how to fight, join the army. If you want to learn martial arts, well, then that's something different. That's art. You want to learn art? Learn martial arts. That's right. And then at www.screenfighter.com, you guys, you guys say safety is the priority. So it's oh, all absolutely. about... Yeah, it's all about being safe and peaceful and coming out with an amazing product, which well, you've... Absolutely. Um, well, safety and what we do is paramount. We're not um, daredevils. We take calculated risk. And um, unlike just a stunt performer, when you're the stunt coordinator, you bring in the talent. But, but your chief goal is to make sure that that talent performs safely with, with the other actors and with the other people uh, in the crew, and that at the end of the day, no matter what we do, it's safety comes first and that everything is done safe because the minute something happens to someone, well, that's when everything goes downhill. So that's safety right. is huge. That's right. We're talking about Tom Cruise can't get hit in the face. Otherwise, in no. some countries, <laughs> no. you'll be shot for that. That stunt person will be <laughs> very quickly removed. Oh, my gosh. I can imagine. Yeah. Marcus, <laughs> thank problem. you so much for being here. Uh, Tim, Tim Scanlon and Marcus Salgado. And we will uh, be right back to talk about who else Marcus has worked with and what else venture, what other ventures he's done here on La La Land. With Brett and Nettie on CRN Digital, Digital Talk. Talk. Cause I always have to steal my kisses from you. I always have to steal my kisses from you. Always have to steal my kisses from you.